from the Strip Studios, this is 10 News. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson with a 10 News update. The East County man and former Navy sailor who pleaded guilty to trying to poison his own wife to death will serve three consecutive life sentences. A judge sentenced Race Udo today. After going to the hospital a year ago, doctors discovered a rat poison banned in the U.S. for decades was in the wife's system. Detectives later found toxic castor beans in their home and arrested Udo. He will be eligible for parole in 21 years. New developments in the admissions fraud investigation. The school swept up in it, including the University of San Diego, could be facing legal problems. A class action lawsuit has been filed by students who paid application fees between 2012 and 2018 and were then rejected by schools involved in the scandal. They want their fees back, plus damages. And a statewide restaurant group is suing San Diego to stop the city's ban on styrofoam food containers. The group said it filed that lawsuit because of the high cost of San Diego's economy. The lawsuit argues the city did not adequately look into the impact the ban would have and even argues that it might make the environment worse. Right now, the city is working to implement the full ban on May 24th, but a judge could rule to put the ban on hold while the lawsuit is being worked out. All right, here's the good news. It's fantastic weather. Fantastic we'll weather. weather. Perfect San Diego weather. Lots of sunshine into the weekend. That's the best part. 72 degrees on the coast for tomorrow. 73 for the inland valleys, but warming up as we head into Sunday. Nothing but sunshine. Temperatures on Sunday for the inland valleys nearing 80 degrees. We'd so like to hear that. we'll take it. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app. For 10 News, I'm Steve Atkinson.